Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the Dark Cloud in the Realm of the Heavens. And we've got some vultures trying to kill me all over the place, and probably killing them will open the path. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because that's did, that seemed kind of silly there, if I would have been trapped there, you know, if I'm... If I would have had to get like a feather or something just before that hole, that would have been really weird. Oh, I guess now there's holes inside the clouds, and these appear to be uh, thunder clouds, which are, seems kind of dangerous actually. Uh, because how are we walking in this without being shocked anyway? As I said before in the last parts, or part, one of the two, I haven't edited the parts yet, uh, that clouds are basically made of water molecules and. Uh, Oh, urr, what the heck was that? Urr, I don't know. And uh, lightning would travel through those water molecules. And uh, yeah, you get the idea. So I guess I can crack blocks by using that cannon and falling from above or something. I don't know. I guess I'm about to find out. So let's get shot out of the cannon and do the little down sword slash thingy. Woo! Can I... Oh, I mistimed it. Let's try that once more. This should only take a few shots. If not two shots. Come on! That's what I thought. Okay. And now we're inside the dark cloud, and I got a bow. What am I supposed to use this bow with? Or I should say use this bow on? I don't know, but there's some switches over here, so I'll probably need them to open my path. So let's grab... Bluey here, deep blue, and Toucan Sam, and that opens up the pathway down there, evidently. So let's leave the screen and go do another train, screen, train, what the heck am I saying? Screen transition. Now oh, I can shoot those, shoot those things in the cloud by shooting straight up. That's probably what I have to do, so let's do that. Um, can I, like... I would like to go into horizontal formation if I could, but that's not the case. Oh well. Let's just shoot them as I go. I should say as the cloud goes. And can I shoot? Oh, poop. I have to move a little bit. And I now have to wait a little bit, too. Man, this place is spooky, I have to say. Woo! Force gem! So oh, I need to go up there quickly. Hurry, Link! Get your force gem bouquet! It looks like a bunch of multicolored spikes up there because of the way they landed. And all links end up on the cloud, so the cloud starts moving. I guess it takes four to tango with clouds or something like that. So, oh, keys. Um, there's a bunch of doors. There's a bunch of keys. What is the correct path? I'm going to say it's here. Well, that opened up that. That's probably not the right path, though. So let's take this door and shoot an arrow right up here. Onto that switch, which will make a bridge there. What does this door lead us to? It lead us, leads us to a guard. Uh, am I going to be able to attack you? Yes, I will. Oh, oh, whatever. <laughs> he just knocked me into the door. He let me get away. In fact, he forced me to get away. So, is this like a treasure room of sorts? Oh, bombs. I will need these. That's for sure. Because I, I noticed that there's those cracked blocks up at the uh, other area. If you notice on the other screen. Um... So, let's just go up there. I'm pretty sure I can now just take this door, like this, and use it like a bridge. Yep, the bridge right across to here. And there's probably going to be a ladder to go up. Yep, just as I predicted. And the door to your left will take you out there, like that. And let's bomb these suckers. Any day now. Well, they oh, it's only, it's only seriously going to blow up two at a time. This is going to take forever. So much time wasted that I could be using to do better things, like chasing a squirrel or picking my nose or something like that. You know what I mean. So now that the pathway is clear after all that complaining, uh, now I can go up here and there appears to be Shadow Link! Please don't throw a bomb. Oh no! Uh, escape to your Game Boy Advance! Or, you know, your TV screen that looks like a Game Boy Advance. The greatest bomb shelter in the history of the world. And I just made a cannon appear up there. I guess the object is to get to the top. That's what I intend on doing. Let's just get shot up here. What is up here? I don't know, but I just opened up something. I must have been on the other screen that I can't see. Let's take a look. Oh, that's another cannon over there. So I guess I gotta fall into that cannon down there and, like, get shot up to, like, over here. This is just my best guess. Uh, let's 
try it. And I'll just kill you. Oh, I don't know what's in that door down at the bottom there. Maybe I should check that out before I go further. You know, at the bottom right corner there. No, 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 no! Oh, somehow I didn't take damage or died. That was weird. Huh, I, I guess those bombs aren't as destructive as I thought. Well, this made something appear on the other screen. I guess we'll see in just a sec. What, what appeared? Oh, it's a force gem. So let's go out here now and give, to give, us, give ourselves as much time as we can so we can race through here. I don't feel like waiting for another bomb unless I really have to. So let's quickly go across here, shoot up to the top. And I got the Force Gem. Did not want to lose that, because I need 2,000 to complete the stage. So, bomb this... Uh, why didn't I swing my sword at those keys? I don't know. I just kind of like tried to dodge them, and it's, you can't dodge, you know, and you can't jump. And go to this door, quick! What's in here? It's a treasure chest. I'm guessing it contains Rock's Feather, or those switches will make a ladder appear. I don't know, but something is gonna happen, and I intend to figure it out, so I'm gonna, like, leave these links to sit, like, oops, I want them to sit, like, like that, so I can just position them like that without having to select each link individually. It makes things a little bit faster in some cases when you do it that way. And I have escaped, and what is this strange light? I don't know, but it's probably going to transport me to somewhere. Let's go in! And I guess we're on top of the dark clouds now. Oh my god, Wizrobes, just leave them. I don't want them to steal my change. And this... Oh, come on! Why must there be you guys? Of all the enemies to choose, why was there you guys? Could they have chose... Any more, I mean, I don't think they could have chose a, a more annoying enemy than these guys. Seriously. Can, I mean, think about this. You have to, they are completely invincible to your sword slashes. Uh, could, I wonder if I could blow them up with my bombs. That would be pretty handy if I could. Like, let's lead them around. Uh, that works. So I'm going to lay a bomb there and, like, let them group around and lead you. That works very nice. That's a lot faster, too. Or at least for the, you know, like the main bulk of them, rather than trying to knock them off the edge. So you go around like this, like that. Beautiful. Oh, two to go. Unless there's more over here that are stuck. No, I don't see any. So I'm going to drop some bombs here and wait for them to come around. Kablooey, kablooey, yeah! And to the victor goes the Force Gems. And I guess a Moon Pearl, which I'm going to throw over there. Just out of curiosity, what happens... I hope I don't screw myself if I try this. What happens if I throw this off a cliff? Okay, it just reappears. That's what I thought. Because if you drop one of these things off the cliff, you know... If you, or I should say, if you, would, if you were ever to lose one of these, they're so vital that you would pretty much lose the stage. And there's a portal to Dark World. And... A bunch of switches. Uh oh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I guess that does something. So, I guess you're supposed to hit four of these switches at the same time in some certain combination. Oh, okay. So, that works. What does this combination do? That's, that's a failed combination. All I need is the hammer anyway. Holy cow, what have I done? I have unleashed dangers upon the world, but that's okay. I got a hammer. Can I stun these? Oh, I don't have enough time to stun them. No, 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 no. I don't think so. So now I can go back up here and hit these into the ground, little whack-a-moles. And let's see what's down those stairs. A bug is flying in my face, dang it. Ah! Guest appearance by Fruit Fly! As a heart container. Ah, there's a lot of stairways around here. So one of these has to be the right path, or maybe they're all the right path and I need to find the correct way through. I don't know. I'm just gonna hit that ahead of time. Uh, even though I don't need to, I just noticed. I can hit that in. Treasure chest! Dink. Oh, 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 I see. Like, um, 
It's a it's a two layer maze basically. Um, you go in to the like underside or inside of this building, and you come out another. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's this? Oh, force gem, nice. And you come out one of these stairways that are normally blocked off by this. See, it's completely blocked in, but you need to become. I mean, you need to come through that stairwell. So, what's? Whoa, what is this? I thought I'd find a made of no paradise. If you whack in a mountain. Here, a mountain of spikes. So let's try and make a mountain of spikes. Um, I bet you this is like a choose your own pathway thing. Like it'll show you where to go. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Okay, wherever the pathway is, um, you have to find it with the uh, hammer, basically. Wait, what's the point of that? Or at least for that room. Maybe I'll just do that room first, because I get that room, and then I'll just go back to that other way. Because this room looks like it's going to be a dead end. Because when I zoomed out here, oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just like one really big room. So let's just do that, and well, that shows that pathway very nicely. Ah, shoot. Did not mean to touch that. I wanted to stay on the... Whoa, it's completely blocked in. Um, this way I can go. Yeah. Here, where's the safe path? Right here. Is there any... Can I move around here? Yes, I can. I can just go right forward and slightly to the right, like that, and shockwave here. And I'm pretty sure I can hit this thing. Yep. Awesome. So this clears this path. I should say it opens this path. Shockwave here. This looks safe. Shockwave. Boink! Mm. I guess it's just like a... Oof. Be patient and don't run into the spikes even when they're completely visible. You know, you'll kind of like demolish yourself and whenever you get some, I should say whenever uh, you hit the switch, go back and get some force gems. Pretty simple, I guess. Uh, is there even any point to hitting these switches? Or is it just to get force gems or something? I don't know. It certainly doesn't seem like there's a real point to them, but I would like to see what all the switches do for the heck of it. Uh, I figured that would work. I didn't even need to swing my hammer there. I just I just got the feel of the pattern. Uh, what does this do? More force gems, of course. So uh, maybe this is like, so you can come back a lot quicker. Uh, if I go like this, okay. If I shockwave here, should be able to do it like that. Shockwave here. Spikes all over the place. Uh, I can go down here. There we go. Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess just be patient here and get through it one area at a time. Oh, shoot. Why do I keep nicking the spikes anyway? That's kind of weird. Ah, ah! And, okay. Be careful, TK Gam. The pathway is getting thinner. There's a force fairy. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dead end. Oh, boy. So, am I supposed to take another path around or something? Or is there... Yeah, that's blocked in. Blocked in. Uh, that's blocked in. Let's go around this way. See if I can go around that way. Shockwave here. Yes, I can go around this way. So this has got to be like a second, secondary path, like this. And I noticed there are spikes up still here. I don't know. Oops. Why didn't I just do a shockwave there to be safe? Oh well. I got enough force gems. get those other ones. Ooh, I have to go all the way around, don't I? That doesn't seem worth it now, does it? Yeah, I think the spikes will keep blocking my path. I'm just gonna leave them. I don't really care now. Unless I can throw a link over that that thin wall there. I should say that thin block of spikes. You know, it's only one block, block space. I should be able to go over here. Another 100 force gems. This, this is like, it's not that bad, but it's just like, it's just, just like really annoying. Because of how long this takes, I can go up here. Wait, I see that there's a, a light-up floor, or is that just, like, patterns on the floor? I'm guessing it's just patterns, because that would be way too easy, you know. Oh, no, wait, that's the clouds moving. Never mind, they were just, like, really... They're, they're really sitting still, and I couldn't tell if they were part of the floor or not. Oh, my bad. Okay, where's the next path? Probably have to do it from the other room or not. Let's see. I can go around here. Like that. 
And oh. Can I like walk around? Yeah, I can. Okay. And I betcha this is blocked off too. No, it's not. Hmm. Okay, well, where is the next path? This is like taking forever. This is not one of my well, not one of my favorite level design aspects, I have to tell you.